Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So today I'm going to give you one Selenium coding challenge here. Like recently in one of the interviews, this question was asked that you have to go to redbus.in and then you have to handle a calendar. Very interesting scenario, not that very straightforward. So what you have to do is uh, here is, uh, let's see, I'll go to redbus.in and there is one calendar. So first of all, what you have to do, let's see current month is March, 2024. And then you have to take the data as a parameter in a specific function. And let's see if I'm calling that function and I'm passing March, 2024. So you have to perform two things here. The first thing is that uh, the function should return or should print like how many number of holidays. Let's see in March, three holidays are there. And then you have to print number of weekends also like weekend dates also you have to print so let's see march 2024 and in march 2024 we have a weekend like <clears throat> you can say uh, 2 3 9 10 16 17 and something like this that is what we have to print here right and remember the weekend could be today's date also for example today if i'm preparing the video on 9th march so 9th is also a weekend and that is also a current date also so you have to take care about this scenario or this use case as well that weekend could be today's date also. But let's see if I supply the input as uh, April 2024 and April 2024, you just need to print 6, 7, 13, 14, 20, 21 and 27 and 28 because 4, 5 is for the next month. Okay, not for the April month. Okay, what you can do in the current month, for example, you can just ignore, let's see, second or third, but you have to print 9, 10, 16, 17, 23, 24, 30, and 31 here, right? And then for every month, you have to print number of holidays also. So if I'm supplying that, let's see, um, June 2024. So when I open the current date, let's see if I'm in March and I open this, first we have to print in March, three holidays, then April, four holidays. Then May, two holidays, and then in June, no holidays means zero holidays, or you can print zero or null or whatever. Better you print zero holidays are here, and then you have to print. This is your target month, and then you have to print how many uh, Saturdays, Sundays, or weekend dates you have to print here, right? So for example, I'll give you an example. I have already written the code. I have already solved it. I'm not going to show you the actual logic. So I'm saying get weekend dates for March 2024. And give me the how many weekend dates are available. So let's see. I'm just simple running it. And uh, <clears throat> let's see what happens. Okay. I'll open the console output here. And uh, it will open the date calendar. And here you can see in March 2024, it's printing 9, 10, 16, 17, 23, 24, and 30, 31. You can include second and third also, but second and third are the old dates like already previous date which are already gone so we have to select current date plus all the future upcoming weekend dates are available we have to print that so we, that's why we are ignoring second and third march here right now i'll do one thing here you can say three holidays also it's printing so exactly you can say three holidays perfect now i'll do one thing that i'm going to print let's see in june 2024 how many holidays and total number of weekend dates print you have to print it on the console so let's start it again and let's see so I'll open the console and uh, the browser is here. Okay. So here you can see that June 2024 and it's not printing anything. I mean, total number of holidays not printing, but it started from March, three holidays, then April, four holidays, then uh, May, two holidays, and then June, no holiday or zero holidays or not printing number of holidays, nothing. And here you can see that 1, 2, 8, 9, 15, 16, 29, 30. Right. And you can just check that in the May, we have two holidays on the console. You can see in April, four holidays. So four holidays also on the console and then March, three holidays, three holidays. So if I'm asking, let's see in December, so you have to print from March to December, total number of holidays each month. And then for December month, you have to print holiday number plus weekend dates. Also, you have to print it. Right. So let's see if I'm printing for the December, 2024. And then I'm running it. So let's see what is the output here. Okay. So it will open. See, it keep moving, keep moving. June, then July, August, September, October, November, and then December, one holiday. 
and uh, let's see on the console what exactly it is printing so you can see on the console as well that it is printing from march to december in december we have only one holiday august we have three holidays september october november december and in december you can check the dates also like this so see this if i go to december here one holiday and then one is sunday then 7 8 14 15 28 29 right so that is what you have to print here simple let's take uh, one more example let's see next year if i'm going in 2024 and uh, june 2025 actually not four let's see what exactly it is printing here okay let me just close the previous ones and uh, let's run it again okay so browser got op opened and uh, i'll just shift it here so that we can see the console together so see april may june no holidays in june july one holiday september october november december january 2025 march april may and then it will stop at june right so you have to write something loop or something like this and then once you reach to the desired month then you have to break the loop okay so just see this uh, here the output is correct or not june 2025 let's see 178 up to 29 so 178 14 15 21 22 28 29 here right so what is the testability here that every month i really want to check that how many holidays are there and the calendar is displaying the right um weekend dates also correct or not right so that is the actual uh, testing scenario here but this was actually asked just to check your programming knowledge and coding knowledge that how exactly you are going to solve these kind of problems right okay so how to solve it just simple you have to create a generic method you have to supply the data from here don't use a scanner class you simply supply the data from here and then uh, just keep checking don't create any page object model or nothing no test change nothing simple write a main method and create one method over here call this method get the total number of weekend list and then print it on the console along with the holidays right how will you solve i mean how will you submit it you just need to submit uh, you can create one git repository and the repository name you can write it something like this Naveen automation, a lapse underscore red burst uh, calendar challenge. Okay. You can just submit it to my email ID. If you really want to share it, you can just share it. I'll have a look and take your time. And then you can submit it to Naveen animation 20 at gmail.com. Or you can share it on LinkedIn or uh, you can just tag your solution over there and you can tag me there. And along with that, you can share the URL also of your repository there. But please try to solve it. Another concept, I'm just going to add one condition here that you are not allowed to use XPath here. Only and only CSS selector, you have to use it. This is also one of the condition in the challenge. When they ask this question, they add it here. So you are not allowed to use any XPath, only and only CSS selector that you have to use it. In. Okay. So let's make it more little interesting. Only CSS, you have to use it. Just try that and let me know. Uh, don't write the solution in the comment section. Otherwise, other people will get to know the solution. Just keep it with you. Submit your repository to me and or you can just share it on LinkedIn also or you can just mail me over here as well. That's all for this video. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.